Hello guys, my name is William and today we are talking about the history of Queen Elizabeth II. It all started in April 21st, 1926 when the Queen was born. In 1934, when she was just 8 years old, she appeared on a Canadian notes. And, and at this point, she wasn't supposed to become the queen until her uncle abdicated. And then in two years later, her, uh, her grandfather, King George V, died, and her uncle abdicated just after 10 months of becoming king. Her father became King George VI, making the queen directly next to the crown. 1951, she appeared on another Canadian note. And there's been a lot of things happening during the 1940s and 1930s. She, she became an eight-year-old to a woman that lost her grandfather, lived through the Second World War, got married and had two children, and she's about to lose her father already at just 25 years. And then in 1952, her father died and the queen took the throne. And she appeared on the, first, and she appeared on the Hong Kong notes. And she also appeared on the first coin ever, the shilling, in 1953. Which is the same year that she wear the crown. In, in 1956, another note, and 30 years old. 1972 is when King Edward VIII died at 77, which is her uncle. In 1977, she, she was rewarded the Silver Jubilee, 25 years on the throne. This is also the point that she paid, that she became a grandmother for the very first time, now aged 51. In 1981, Prince Charles married Princess Diana. And 1992 became the worst year ever because in 1992 there were two marriages that are divorced and a catastrophic fire in, uh, in Windsor Castle. And things are about to get even worse in 1996 when Prince Charles and Princess Diana are officially divorced. And then Princess Diana died in a car crash a year later. 2002 became another bad year for the Queen. Although she celebrated her Golden Jubilee 50 years on the throne, her only sibling, Princess Margaret, died at 71, followed by her mother at March when she and she died, and her mother died at 101, which is completely bonkers. And 2011, another note and another coin. New Zealand one and a Canadian one, again. 2012 is when she was rewarded the Diamond Jubilee, 60 years on the throne, now aged 86. And that, and, and she became a, gra a great grandmother for the very first time as well. 2000 2011 got another marriage. Also, in 2011, there was another marriage. In 2014, she got her first great grandchild, uh, Prince George. And then after that, Prince Charlotte, Princess Charlotte. And that's pretty much it. 2018 got two. Got two more marriages and another great grandchild. No new notes, no no new notes and no new coins. But 2021 goes horribly wrong when her only husband, Prince Philip, died, which is really sad. At 99 years old. And then a year later, she was rewarded the Platinum Jubilee, 70 years on the throne. And then after that, she sadly died, aged 96. And, sin and she was buried at the Windsor Castle. And I hope Prince Charles, of King Charles III will do great. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, uh, comment, and share. So, bye!